This program is brought to you by Emory University. The following is in celebration of Emory's 175th anniversary, brought to you by Emory Report. Hello, I'm Gary Hawk, and this is an Emory History Minute. In the spring of 1914, a feud between Vanderbilt University and the Methodist Episcopal Church South landed in the Tennessee Supreme Court. The issue was whether the university board or the bishops of the church, which had founded Vanderbilt, had final say over the appointment of university trustees. With a decision by the court, the church severed its relationship from Vanderbilt and decided to create a new university in the southeast. The question was where? Birmingham, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia, and other cities vied for the honor, but the question was quickly resolved by this letter. Handwritten by Coca-Cola founder Asa Griggs Candler, one of the wealthiest men in the South, it was addressed to his brother Warren, a former president of Emory College and the leading bishop in the Southern Methodist Church. It spelled out the need for church-related higher education and offered to the church the exact same sum that Carnegie had put on the table, one million dollars. With that gift and subsequent donations of land, the new university began to take shape in Atlanta. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.